Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm in a good mood today. Happy Juneteenth, y'all. I hope you are enjoying the newest federal holiday. Um, and if you're not watching this on Juneteenth, then happy belated Juneteenth, or happy future Juneteenth. However, no matter what color you are, you can celebrate. Freedom is always worth celebrating. Um, today is going to be another pageant video. Um, but before we get into it, I need to blot. I feel a little oily. Pro tip, blotter sheets. What are these called specifically? Beauty blotters, oil absorbing tissues. This, um, the ones that I'm using are by Mary Kay, but you can get these anywhere. These are good for every day, but they are especially good pageant weekend, pageant week backstage um for you to use or before an interview or in between categories when those hot lights are shining on you honey and you are getting oily and you're melting okay so this is how they work it just picks up all of the excess oil on your face so make sure that you get some of those um today we are going to be discussing um what do i want to discuss y'all i have all of my July videos planned out, y'all. So it's just a matter of picking a topic. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first thing. And we're going to discuss what to look for in coaches, whether that's an interview coach, your walking coach, your stage presence coach, um, your wardrobe and styling consultant, um, whatever coach you're using whatever type of coach you're using um i tried to come up with universal tips of what to look for in a pageant coach no matter their area of expertise i feel like this is very important and that when you're building your village per se gonna have another video on that that you know what to look for and that you are working with people who you have a good vibe with that not only they're the expert in their field but you mesh well together and you collaborate well together right so let's go ahead and get into the first tip i believe i have one two three four so this is going to be a short efficient video like i always try to keep it so let's go ahead and get into the first tip okay number one what to look let me get a penny so as i'm going through these things i can scratch them off my list get me a little book to scratch them off with <laughs> okay so competition experience and placings if not titles okay so this is very important because nowadays there are okay i will say this just because you compete in pageants and just because you are a pageant girl doesn't mean that you are qualified to be a coach or be in any pageant position of leadership you have to be yielding results especially as a coach <laughs> um so let me elaborate further so competition experience is the coach that you're looking for whether it's um a hair and makeup artist walking coach interview coach wardrobe consultant have they competed in multiple pageants and not just one, because people will say, oh, I competed in one pageant and I know what's going on. Especially if it was a cultural pageant, because cultural pageants are different as well from mainstream pageants. So just competing in one USA prelim or competing in, you know, just Miss Black USA or just Miss Latina America or just Miss Indigenous World, like just competing in one pageant doesn't cut it like you need to have a diverse resume of uh competition history and what would even be even more impressive is if they have a diverse competition history in multiple pageant systems that way they really know how pageantry works overall so you want to you want them to have that competition experience um I would say that you also want that experience to be recent. Um, like 
let's say let's say for example if your coach was like if she was like a national title holder 20 years ago but she's still relevant in the industry she's still coaching she's still you know making appearances she's still going to pageants she's still judging pageants if she's still you know involved then that's cool but you want you want that experience and you want them to still be relevant in the pageant world um and then another the second point of that is placings now if you're you know thinking about uh working under someone or being coached by someone and they you know have competed for a while but they haven't yielded any placings or superlatives at minimum i would say i would say don't work with that person um simply because it's very difficult to get someone to a place or to mentor someone or to coach someone to a certain level if you've never reached that level yourself and i just feel like that makes the most sense and if you've been competing for so long and you haven't been yielding results and you don't know why like you don't know what you're missing it's also it's going to, if you can't self-reflect on yourself um as a competitor or as a coach and be like okay this is why i need this is where i need to step my game up it's going to be difficult for you to it's going to be difficult for that coach to advise you on what you need to improve on because they've been competing for so long and, you know, are stagnant or haven't gotten any results. So how are they going to help you improve if they haven't improved over the span of however long they've been competing? So that's the first one. Competition, experience, and placings. That's what you want to look for. Experience and placings. Experience and results. Okay? Um, the second thing that you want to be on the lookout for when you are looking for a pageant coach of any kind is you want to have that cultural relatability. Um, because if you can't relate to someone, it's going to be difficult for them to receive your critiques and your teachings. So make sure that you have something in common with your coach whether that be you know y'all are in you, you want to make sure that your coach is you know a girl that you could kick it with basically or a guy or whatever so whether it's you know both of y'all being women of color or you know being from the same uh hometown or having some uh socioeconomic uh background similarities whatever it is um, you just want to be able to relate to your coach um, because there are moments from, you know, contestant to coaching relationships where you have to get vulnerable and you have to get honest with your coach. And, and sometimes sessions turn into, you know, mini therapy ses sessions. So you want to have that cultural relatability that will allow for vulnerability to be introduced so that you can not only improve and grow as a contestant, but as a person. Um, and so you want to have that cultural relatability to your coach in some, you know, form or fashion. So that is point number two. Point number three is you want a coach that will give you endless support regardless of the results. And this isn't something that you will really find out until you start working with the person. Um, but you could also um, look at their reviews from other clientele that they have, reach out to some of their other clients and see how, you know, their relationship is with that coach. Um, but what I see a lot of times, unfortunately, is coaches will have like multiple clients, obviously of all backgrounds, of all levels, but they only promote and uplift the one that are bringing home, you know, the big titles, which is, you know, natural to do. But you, you want to try to promote as many of your clients as possible because everyone is growing in different ways and everyone has different strengths. You know, you may have a girl who has, you know, that national title and you're, you know, using her for promotional purposes as a coach, but you may also have a girl who is just starting out, but she has a ton of potential and she's on the ball and she's working hard. You want to give them, you know, equal praise um, and equal support. 
So look for someone who's going to support you regardless of what the results are after the crowning moment. You want a coach that is going to uh, recommend systems to you. You want a coach that's going to uplift you and check in and um, know what's going on in your life outside of pageantry. Um, so definitely look for someone who is showing you that endless support regardless of what the results are at the pageant. Um, you don't want to work with someone who's only interested in the amount of sessions that you buy and only perks up after, you know, you've paid them. All. Although that's important because coaches, we're working people, we got bills too. Um, but you want someone who is going to be personable, you know, and someone who's going to support you wholeheartedly in and out of pageantry. So that's that. And the final point that I have, which kind of ties into some of the things that I said with the first point, is you want a coach that is passionate and involved in the industry. You know, is your coach relevant? That is the thing. Is your coach relevant? Is your coach attending pageants? Are they judging pageants? Are, you know, they up to are they up to date on, you know, the latest designers and 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 you know fashions or whatever like is your coach genuinely passionate about pageantry do they have you know a, a pageant testimony if you will or are they just in it for the accolades and the money and you know that number one spot on pageant planet so make sure that they're involved and passionate about the industry and make sure or I don't want to say make sure, but pique their interest or use your discernment on how um, how they are with, how do I don't want to say this, on how they are with, with sharing that world with you. Like, are they pulling you in? Are they getting you more involved and more knowledgeable, um, you know, in the pageant world? Are they sharing that passion and that involvement with you? Um, as a contestant and as a client to also help you grow. So y'all, that is everything that I have for what to look for in a pageant coach. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that it was insightful and I hope that it gives you kind of a, a mental list to go through um, as you are looking to hire someone to help take you to the next level in your pageant journey. As always, like, comment, subscribe. You can check out my Calendly link in the description box below if you're interested in booking coaching sessions with yours truly. And I will see y'all in the next video.